Yo, yo, we sending vibes from the 305, man. Pitbull, that's my cousin. Florida, that's my favorite rapper. But this artist, Wolf the Sun, though, she, he got that bitch brand collection. Mm. In the description, mm, that shit go hard. Cause nothing make me feel more like a bad bitch than snorting coke out of stripper's ass while I wear my hoodie, man. I got that shit coming in the mail. Oh God, peek the description for real. Hey, huh, yeah, 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 uh, uh, uh. They think I'm crazy, some hot bitch that bit like a baby, or some huh. I put that cake in the oven. Okay, so this is a topic I've had rotting in my iPhone notes for six months, and now we're here. This is something that's pissed me off for a while, so let me get straight to it. The idolization of YouTubers and creators. Now before you go like, what the fuck does that mean? Let me explain. Now this is a general issue, but I'm focusing mainly on the YouTube and content creator aspect of things. There are people who genuinely idolize and watch every action of these said people. And if you're one of them, allow me to redeem you. Every person behind these screens or piece of music, artwork, whichever you consume, are real people, including this very video. Oh my god, Wolf Aside, is that you? You're so cool. Oh my god, me and my friends and my dog and my cat watch you. You're so cool and great. Can you sign my tits, please? Help! I feel like there's a certain stereotype in society where we rely on creators and celebrities to see how we feel, receive certain things, and how we look up to certain people. This could be your favorite music artist, your favorite YouTuber, actor, fuck it, even a racer. I, I don't know what you consume. We're inspired by certain people that do certain things. We all have our own heroes, whether they be false or not. I have my fair share of heroes that I've had throughout my life, most of which were, in fact, internet personalities since a very young age. So, with stand culture in our general world, this is what we do. There are some people that take these creators and put them on a high pedestal for influence. So I'm gonna be the one to tell you this isn't healthy. As I said before, beyond every screen and every face, there is a person. These people on the internet are just like you. They just pursue this type of profession. So when people make their favorite creator a part of their personality, per se, I don't know, basing your account off of them, taking traits of their personality, in a way, idolizing how they feel so you'll feel the same as well. This may seem insane, but it's true. I've seen it with a certain somebody, someone I know. And here are some mainstream examples. Call me Carson, Jay Schlatt, Dream, Corpse Husband. There's people that would dedicate hours of their time and feelings on getting an interaction with their favorite person. Dream and Corpse Husband are the biggest new additions, obviously. Over time, you get these super fans that will dedicate themselves to you. People who will try time and time again to get that one sweet, sweet reaction from you. Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck. They don't know you. And especially if your layout is along the lines of copying what they like or a picture of them, well, my friend, they probably aren't gonna think about you again. It's true. There's some people who look up to these creators so much they will literally dedicate a majority of their time just trying to get a brick. Just a brick of a response from this person, and once they get it, it'll never happen again. Or maybe they never will. So. Prepare to be disappointed if you try to get some type of interaction like that and it just doesn't happen. There are thousands just like you. As I said, when I was younger, there were a lot of people I looked up to. But when I was, I'd say, when I was seven or eight, I was really big on YouTube. Shit like Charlie Bit Me was hot. We had Tabuscus really starting to blow up. PewDiePie, shit like that. Those are the people that I watched. And I was also really avid in the Roblox YouTube community. So combining all of those, also people like Nigahiga and stuff like that, just Aaron's Animals. There was a lot of really hot YouTubers back then. Those are my influences. But there was never a time where I went, hey, I'm gonna dedicate a lot of my time to this person or I'm gonna idolize them and put them on a high pedestal. If I were to use a smaller example, I have my Instagram DMs open, meaning literally anyone can DM me. One day I got a message saying, hi, if you don't respond, I'll kill myself. Yeah, joke or not, don't do shit like this. Please, this is horrible. But I'm one small creator. I imagine celebrities having thousands, tens of thousands of people standing them to an indubitous level, craving that one little, small little moment of acknowledgement. It's sad. Praising, and especially crushing, on these types of people isn't good for you. And from the gods, creators, perspective, being held to this regard and pictured as a perfect person isn't healthy. I know many people, many, many people can relate to this. Creative minds are usually the most damaged. And from personal experience, that shit can be very hurtful. I know the anxiety that I feel, but I cannot imagine the anxiety these big YouTubers feel. I cannot imagine the expectations or the amount of stress they get on a daily basis. Once more, these creators, 
are human beings just like you. These people you look up to at the end of the day are just like you. They'll go from the same trials and tribulations. They'll be the same people crying in the shower, losing sleep at night, deciding if they even want to eat a meal that day. At the end of the day, they are just like everyone else. They just have a higher standard to them. It's not healthy. Don't idolize YouTubers, creators, celebrities, or any of the sort. Support is fine. Being a fan or a stan is completely okay, but do not idolize these people. I love you and good night.